Rebecca Moon, and I'm a child and family therapist in Ketchikan, Alaska, and I want to read a story for kids about big feelings they might be having about the coronavirus or maybe something other stressful that may be going on in their lives. The story is the story of the oyster and the butterfly. It's written by Anna Gomez, and I'm just going to take parts out of it, but it's available for download online for free. Do you know what oysters do when something that bothers and irritates them comes into their lives? They use their special powers to cover the bothering stuff with layer and layers of powerful stuff until they turn it into a pearl. And do you know what the caterpillar does when it has to go through tough stuff and changes? It spends time with itself inside a cocoon and changes into a butterfly. And its most difficult moments, the caterpillar is actually building its wings. We may feel lonely, scared, angry, or frustrated. We may feel sad because we miss friends or family. We may have mixed up thoughts and our bodies may feel really tense. Feelings need to come out and tell their stories. Can you draw a picture of your feelings? Let's draw a picture of the feelings and sensations you're having in your body. Does your body feel like a noodle or hard like a rock? Does it feel light or heavy? Let's listen to what the body is saying. When we don't feel good, we can do what the oyster does. We can use our powers and create our own pearls. Let's see how we can use our powers. Power number one. We can use the powers of our bodies to stay safe. We can do the things that will keep us far away from the coronavirus. Power number two, we can visit our feelings to hear what their voices are saying. Ignoring feelings does not help us. Remember, feelings are messengers, and the more we listen and talk about them, the better we'll feel in the long run. Power number three, we can be kind and loving towards our feelings and have compassion for them. Power number four, we can visit our needs and see what will make us feel better. Do we need a hug or someone to tell us that things are going to be okay? Do we need someone to talk to who we trust? Power number five, we can use the power of breathing. Breathing can help calm our minds, hearts, and bodies. Power number six, we can cocoon like the caterpillar and spend time with ourselves and the people and pets really close to us. The butterfly reminds us that in yucky and difficult moments, we may just be building our wings. Power number seven, maybe we can find space to connect with our team of helpers. Can you draw or write who you want to have on your team? A person, pet, friend, superhero, or anyone else that feels safe to have on your very own team. Because the biggest power we have is the power to love ourselves and love the ones around us. In many places around the world, we can't touch each other or be close to our friends and family. However, we can still carry them and be very close to them in our hearts. Remember, we are full of special powers inside. We are not alone. We can join in and use all of our powers as one, build our wings, and create many pearls together. Thanks for listening.